in order to find the equivalent capacitance of this combination of three capacitors, we begin by noting that capacitors labeled C1 and C2 are in parallel with one another. And the reason we know that they are in parallel with one another is as follows. You can imagine starting at capacitor C1 and sort of following a path to reach C2. Now, as you follow a path to reach C2, you're going to encounter what is known as a junction, which basically means that your path diverges and you can either go left along that path or you would go right along that path. In this case, we would be going right because we're trying to reach C2. But the point is that you do encounter a junction on the journey from C1 to C2. And because you encounter a junction, those two capacitors are indeed in parallel. We next note that when you have a certain number of capacitors in parallel, then in order to find the equivalent capacitance, you simply sum the individual capacitances. That is what this mathematical notation signifies. It just means to add together the individual capacitance values. So in other words, when we want to combine C1 and C2, we would say that their equivalent capacitance would simply be the sum C1 plus C2. Once we have combined those two capacitors, we can imagine redrawing the circuit so that C1 and C2 are now combined into a single capacitor. Again, that capacitance has a value of C1 plus C2. Next, we note that we have a circuit with two capacitors in series. Now we know these are in series with one another because if we were to follow a path from, say, C3 to this equivalent capacitor, we would not encounter any junctions. You can imagine traveling along the path, there is no junction on that path. This is not considered a junction because it doesn't branch off into another path over here. So no junctions on the path between C3 and this capacitor marked C1 plus C2, and therefore they are indeed in series. Now, to combine series capacitors is a little bit more complex. What we do is we have the following equation. We would have 1 over the equivalent capacitance equals... Now, it's not the sum of the capacitances, but it equals the sum of the reciprocals of the capacitance. So for example, for C3, we would put in the reciprocal of C3. It would be 1 over C3. And then we would add that to the reciprocal of this capacitance. So we would have 1 over C1 plus C2. Now, you could plug in the numbers at this point and solve for CEQ, or you can get a little fancy and solve for CEQ and then plug in the numbers. We choose the latter strategy. So what we'll do is put this in parentheses. And in order to add these two fractions, we, of course, need a common denominator. So this denominator over here would need to be multiplied by C1 plus C2. Let's take a look at what that will be. So we would have 1 over C3. And then to get a common denominator, we multiply the denominator by C1 plus C2. We also multiply the numerator by C1 plus C2. As for the other denominator, the one that currently has C1 plus C2, we need to multiply that by C3 to get the common denominator. So why don't we do that over here? We'll multiply by C3 on the bottom and also on the top. So now we have 1 over the equivalent capacitance is equal to C1 plus C2 over, and in fact, since the denominators are now common, we can actually merge this into a single fraction. It will be easier that way. So we'll have the common denominator on the bottom. And then the numerator will just be C1 plus C2 plus C3. Finally, to solve for CEQ, you can actually reciprocate both sides here. This is a little trick I like to use when I have a fraction on the left side and a fraction on the right side. I'm going to flip these two fractions upside down. So this one becomes just CEQ over 1, which of course is just CEQ. And then if you flip this one upside down, you would have C3 times C1 plus C2 all over C1 plus C2 plus C3. We're ready now finally to plug in the known values which were given in the question here. We have C1 equaling 10 microfarads, C2 is 5 microfarads, and C3 is 4 microfarads. So we'll go ahead and plug those in. 4 microfarads 
here we have the 10 microfarads plus 5 microfarads and then on the bottom we have 10 microfarads plus 5 microfarads plus 4 microfarads. Now when you punch this into your calculator and simplify you're going to get 3.16 microfarads. So this would be the correct answer to the question.